Y'all been asking me for this dribble tutorial, so here's the dribble tutorial. All I ask is to hit 4,000 likes on this video right here. If you want a full combo tutorial, because you know it's one thing to learn the dribble move and learn how to do the specific dribble move, but it's another thing to combo up with the dribble moves then. Boy, ain't no f***ing way, boy. Let boy, ain't no way, boy. Yard, man. It's boy, ain't no way, It's finally here. You can grind. I will be level 40 day one. See you wicked. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. This is clutch because I never hit level 40. I just don't have the time for it. All right. I don't have the time. But I did hit level 40 just because you're able to literally just buy it. That works for me as a content creator. Now, 4,000 likes for the combo tutorial. Everything you're going to learn in this video is going to be very important, though. Very important for you if you want to be a dribble down. You don't, we, we don't say the Lord's name in vain around here upon this side of town. If you want to be a dribble down, copy these six down. If you want to see some other options that are just as good, check out the last video of the six video and you'll see each category. I have some more six in each category that I'll show you like a step back and stuff like that, that are actually very good. Now this is base three. I dropped it two videos ago and this is the new jump shot I'm using right now. It's faster. I'm always trying to find new stuff for you guys. Now, let me go ahead and get this hand cam on for you guys. Probably should have done that already. A few moments later. Now I'm not gonna lie, I kept getting kicked out of the friggin' Gatorade facility. This section one for the dribble dons, beginner dribble dons, all right? I'm showing you how to do the rhythm dribble. They call it aggressive breakdown this year. It's literally just holding R2 and flicking up on the right stick. That's it. Now, depending on which one you have, it's gonna be different. As a matter of fact, I'll show you a different one right now. This one right here is D Fox, and this is like 2K17's rhythm dribble, where it's a little bit tighter, but you can speed boost out of it. And it's literally just holding R2 and flicking up on the right stick. Now, this is the beginner dribble down section. If you want the advanced, more advanced stuff like twin spine momentum this year and all that good stuff, go ahead and skip to the advanced dribble down section. But I'm telling you right now, even the beginner is kind of important because there's some moves in there that are new that you need to learn. Now, for size up, diagonally up on the right stick to the opposite ball hand. We're not going to waste too much time. Size up speed boost. You can do it without holding R2 this year, and it's very clutch. When you flick up to the opposite hand on the right stick, use the left stick and pull it in the same direction. And then while you're running, kind of rotate it down and it'll give you a great speed boost every single time and you can slow the video down rewind it if you need to but you can clearly see it's just common sense is if you want speed boost flick the diagonally up and run diagonally up now this right here is just r2 and flicking the right stick diagonally down to the opposite ball hand for the tween crab for a regular step back just flick the right stick straight down drag the left stick diagonally down to the opposite hand for the between the legs after for the curry slide hold r2 and flick diagonally down to the opposite ball hand on the right stick so diagonally down to the opposite ball hand on the right stick while holding R2, same thing. Curry slide is tied to behind the back this year. Now, snatch back, pull back. All you're going to do is R2 and flick down on the right stick. All you do is hold R2, flick down on the right stick, and that's going to give you the pull back. The snatch back that everybody wants to know how to learn again. It's very simple. They just added it with R2. And if you want the regular step back, like a LeBron hop back, you just let go of R2 and flick down on the right stick. Just literal, easy, very easy stuff. Now, moving step back is just moving the left stick and flicking down on the right stick. We're not going to spend too much time on it. Kind of move diagonally on the left stick. You can run with it. Now, R2 crab for Trey Young this year is kind of, it's the same thing, but you have to do a move to trigger it. It's literally just holding R2 and flicking right stick straight across to the opposite ball hand, but do a move before you do it. So I did a size up, then I did the crab, but you can do the crab very fine if you have killer combos higher. Now for the misdirection, all you're doing is a size up and then running the opposite way. Let me slow it down for you guys, all right? I do a size up to the right hand, which is my opposite hand. Flick diagonally up to the opposite hand on the right stick, then hold R2 and then flick the left stick in the hand that you started in, hold it actually, don't flick it, hold it, and you'll get this misdirection. Once again, the ball's in my left hand, I want to do a misdirection to the left. So I'm tricking the defender by thinking I'm going to size up to the right hand and boost, but what I do is I hold R2 and I hold the left stick diagonally up to the hand that I started in, and it's going to make me run back to the direction that I started in in the first place. So since I'm going left, you see the arrows. Whatever hand the ball is in, flick diagonally up on the right stick to the opposite hand, hold R2 and use the left stick and hold it to the hand that you started in, and it'll give you this move right here on either side. Now the standstill behind the back is common sense. If you can't do this, don't worry. We all learn upon different times, all right? Flick diagonally down to the opposite ball hand, and you can spam it back and forth with the Steve Francis. And if you want to throw the courage light in there, hold R2 after do it one time. And you can just rinse and repeat. It's just simple, simple stuff. Now right here is the hezy boost. Hold R2, flick the right stick straight across to the same hand. And then when you do that, use the left stick while holding R2 still and run. 
you know how to run by just holding the left stick to the same hand and boom you will get the hezzy boost this is a great way to peak this is one of the best ways to get a shot off this year and peak all right so now that you have that now we're going to the advanced stuff the more advanced stuff not crazy advanced not no crazy stuff we're gonna go with the momentum you have to do momentums like they were in the old days you can't just hold r2 anymore that's literally all they did with the momentums this year if you're trying to figure out why you can't momentum instead of holding r2 the entire time flick the right stick diagonally up then hold r2 and then flick the left stick diagonally up and you will get the momentum every single time all right now you're just going to go diagonally up on the right stick to the opposite ball hand let me correct that to the opposite ball hand then hold r2 immediately and while you hold r2 use the left stick and follow it in the same direction so since i'm momentum into the right hand now i'm going momentum to the left by flicking the right stick diagonally up left and then hold an r2 and then hold the left stick diagonally up left while i'm holding r2 boom momentums are very very easy to do do it slow at first because you don't want to do it too fast and if you do it too low you're going to get a tween spam i'm going to show you guys how to do the tween spam soon but like i said one more time diagonally up to the opposite hand on the right stick then hold r2 and hold the left stick diagonally up to the same direction real simple slow it down more if you need to you know i always slow it down for you guys as a matter of fact, let's go through it one more time because this is one of the most important steps for a dribble down. You must know it's a momentum cross because it's one of the best ways to chain your moves. All right. I'm going to shut my mouth right now so you can just focus and look on the screen. Let me let you focus right now. Simple. All right, now you're gonna see the regular breakdown combo, and this is actually really nice, man. It's bringing back like some old 2K vibes, like watching some old 2K. And it's that little walk back that I, you see right here. This is the Fox um, regular breakdown combo. And, you, and this is how you do it. You flick the right stick up, then you flick the left stick straight across. And honestly, I was just spamming it back and forth a couple of times. I think you can go either side when you're going straight across. I could be wrong. It might have to be same side ball hand, but the way the animation plays out is kind of tricky. You have to play around with it yourself, all right? Because you can do it back and forth. You just have to get the timing down correctly, all right? But all you're doing is flicking the right stick up and the left stick straight across. You have to find a perfect sweet spot. I think it's same side ball hand, but sometimes when you get the animation, you know, when you do it too slow and the animation plays out, you'll end up doing another move, uh, another version of it. So just mess with it. This is how you do it, though. That's the blueprint to how you do it. Now, this next move I'm going to show you is the misdirection behind the back. The misdirection behind the back is one of my favorite moves every single year for the last three years. It's very important. And it's this move right here. And it's actually tied to the moving behind the back, just like the curry slide is tied to the moving behind the back. But to do the move, all you do is hold R2, flick the right stick diagonally down to the opposite ball hand, and then cancel it by flicking the left stick down to the hand that you started in. Diagonally down, by the way, not straight down. All right. So you're going to just do a curry slide and cancel it by flicking the left stick diagonally down to the hand that the ball started in. All right. And that's how you cancel. It's pretty much like a curry slide cancel. It's the simplest way to put it. Slow it down if you need to for some more. Now, this right here I'm about to show you is the it's a very simple move. Don't get me wrong, but it's the best speed boost in the game. Other than the Hezzy speed boost. And it's the crab speed boost. Boom. That one right there. Boom. Boom. I'm showing you the difference between just a regular speed boost and this. To do the move, all you're doing is holding R2, flicking diagonally up on the right stick to start the crab pretty much, and then pulling in the left stick straight across to the hand that you're crabbing to. And it's gonna give you a speed boost, and you have to hold the left stick when you're doing it. I found more success by crabbing with diagonally up in the right stick and then running with that instead of crabbing straight across on the right stick to the opposite ball. Because if you crab straight across on the right stick to the opposite ball hand, sometimes you will not get the crab. It'll give you a slow, slow animation. But that's pretty much all you do it. You crab and you run. All right. Simple as that. 
Now I'm gonna show you guys how to do the tween spam and we're gonna end it with the tween spam because it is my favorite combo every year and it is a realistic one for those that say oh it's oh it's not real life well guess what we're up on a video game so stop the nice dog all right at the end of the day we all love some cheese we all love some cheese now get this motion down right here holding r2 flicking the right stick straight across to the opposite ball hand and following it with the left stick straight across to the opposite ball hand hold r2 the entire time so if it's in the left hand right stick right hand left stick right hand and for left hand hold r2 right stick left hand left stick left hand straight across simultaneously and then you get that motion down and eventually once you know how to perfect this motion right here perfect this little motion stop when you do it perfect the motion flicking the right stick straight across the opposite ball hand and following it straight across to the opposite ball hand with the left stick immediately but holding R2 the entire time. Once you get that motion down, I promise you, it's so freaking easy to do this. They actually brought back the 2K22 way. And even on 2K21, I would start it in the new way they created for us to do it. But I would ultimately bring it back down to this way. So I still have the muscle memory of doing it this way. Because this is, to me, the easiest way to do it. The best way to do it. Now, you cannot do it without R2 this year the same way you can do it last year. Maybe there's a way. I have not found it yet. But I don't do it that way anyway. So I'm not going to look for it. Now, once you have that motion down, all you're going to do is spam it literally fast as possible. Back and forth, back and forth. You can start doing it slow if you want to. But to be honest, it's better when you do it fast. Now, they kind of made it to where like, don't get me wrong. You can spam it from half court all the way to the paint, but you will get a funky animation sometimes. All right. So make sure you guys really practice this this is a very important combo this year i'm not gonna lie to you especially because dribbling is a little i'm not gonna say a little bit it is a lot different than 2k23 and there's some pro play animations in this game that's gonna make it more realistic for you the guys that don't know how to combo up just like a real life guard has to combo up you have to combo up now you can left right speed boost but that it will get boxed when a good lock has his badge anyways hit that like button 4,000 likes on this video if you guys want that combo dribble tutorial of you know, pretty much learn how to combo all these moves together effectively. Big up on the self. Big up, Lord Almighty. Road to Canada. Uh, Jeevo on the Don't Know the Ten Guy ready. I hope you guys enjoy this weekend. Be safe. You know, you should be inside playing 2K anyways. Big up on the self. We're gone.